take another short video of my uh, Skyview top now uh, placed on the uh, 1955 Thunderbird. A uh, lot of work remains, uh, but at least I know how it will look and that it will probably work, I think. But anyway, this is, uh, I need some more work done on the uh, trim to get it, uh, not contours a little bit off. And I need a stiffener piece uh, in the top here on the inside, which will bring it up maybe a little bit, get that corrected. And then I still need the lip all the way around, and that'll bring the uh, glass up. It's a little bit lower here in the front. Uh, but at any rate, and I don't have my uh, pretty uh, door panels with the buttons in because they're finished, but the armrest was uh, uh, out of place on it slightly, so that's being corrected. I may have it back Monday or Tuesday. And I have floor mats in that I'm gonna uh, change from black to white or off-white so that should brighten up the interior and make it look really nice but anyway that gives you an idea of the uh, you see the uh, color of the teal shining through on the steering wheel and the seats and uh, how it looks on the uh, inside and uh, and we have to go inside And get an idea how large it is and it it fits uh, about uh, where I wanted it to but as good as I could get it to uh, be placed given the uh, structure of the top and uh, but anyway so uh, hard to hard to see it looks better in person of course but uh, get kind of a an idea and of course I have my mirror uh, which is actually a Continental Mark II mirror from 1956, modified, mounted on the uh, speaker grill, which cleans up the, uh, and the 55 had no vent windows and had no sun visors. It had the mirror, but I moved it here, so it's, it's all completely panoramic view, very nice. And then the, uh, of course, my sky view top. And, uh, and the color is uh, good. It should look good with the uh, the blue sky. Here I have a white background to give it, get an idea. And then my script will be uh, right here. It'll say sky view. That's being a cast now. And there'll be another one uh, on the glove box, which I have removed now with a little Ford Crest. <clears throat> and maybe another one back here where I have a little piece of paper. That'll say, uh, uh, Skyview, which I don't know if it's really coming out on the uh, camera here, approximately there. Anyway, that's uh, more or less uh, what it will look like. The uh, goal was to make it look like what it would have looked like had the uh, factory Ford Motor Company uh, produced this on the Thunderbird, which they did not, so this would be uh, one of one, be the only one. And then on each side, uh, over, over there, and on this side, on the inside, will be a, a, a dome light, which will when the doors open, illuminate through the uh, through the uh, top, and uh, which will look nice, I think. Some cars uh, did have that, I think. Maybe the uh, Mercury Sun Valley had it. I'm not sure now. Lights on each side like that. But it seems to it blends in pretty good. It uh, looks much better installed. Of course, when the top is uh, refinished restored the fiberglass and painted and I get it to fit a little bit better and I have my uh, script on the gold script on the side and I have my door panels a lot of things left to do it will look uh, pretty nice I'm also considering a uh, a different brake pedal I have one for a Lincoln about the same 
time period right here it's a blue color so I might fabricate a bracket and use that I'm not sure but I found it and ordered it so we'll we'll see so uh, so basically that's what we got progress on the uh, 1955 Ford Thunderbird Skyview glass top hard top